Welcome back! We are at a train station in the land of the dead and, well, we want to take a train to find our fiancé, so we're gonna go fix the clock. That has 13, I just realized. It is counting eternity. With the party music? Yeah. This is a very long train. Grandma. I've always wondered what the wasteland of eternal flame looks like, but I never thought I'd see it firsthand. Oh, welcome. You're not from around here, are you? I used to live in the heavens. Then the goddess of the underworld learned an amulet to allow me to travel anywhere in the world. I also could travel to Earth from paradise. I traveled a lot, but then the goddess came to me and took the amulet because only gods are allowed to use it. She then punished me by sending me to the underworld. I was a good person on Earth and don't deserve to be here. I heard it's possible to craft an amulet just like the one I had in the local factory, but I'm not allowed inside. Maybe you could go there and make it. Please help me, I'll pay you with my own coin. So is paying with your own coin, is that like an idiom or like a thing? An expression? Because he's the second person who said that in the game now. I'll take this. Something is still missing. Let's see what we picked up there. There we go. This statue can be found in purgatory, and not many people know its true value, but rather assume it's a decorative piece. She loves to listen to beautiful melodies, especially sad ones. They make her cry. The statue's tears are made of ice and possess magic that can destroy any fire, including lava they touch. People say when she doesn't like a melody, she can turn you into an icy cube and then shatter you to pieces. There's no proof to support this rumor, though. I like the party music! Get my rod, and the pipe is broken, but I don't have the tool or the parts I need in order to fix it. Last thing I would do in the underworld is read a newspaper. Boring. Here, let's see, a wrench and a poker. Is it just me, or is the furnace staring at me? Oh, hello, mold. I didn't see you last time. Whoa, okay. Never mind. Impressive! This weapon against fire is ice, so we need to make her cry. We need to make the statue cry. I have a wrench here. Here we go, we get the nuts, and we get... Alright, let's try this again. Let's not grab the mask the first thing we do. Let's look at some other stuff first and see if that's better. It's crashed twice now. Doll of the God of Courage! Let's grab some other stuff first. Alright, or Thank you. Alright, let's see if we can do this. What if we take the nut first, go back, and then try to take the mask? I don't know. It's so weird. I promise I got the mask before. Okay. There we go. Now we got the mask. So it's slightly buggy, but okay. Weird. There's an amulet that enables his owner to travel anywhere in the world. Only the gods have the right to possess it, but eyewitnesses claim a human used to have it. How she acquired it is unclear. That was grandma. Uh, I need a mold. I have a mold. Here we go. I could melt something in that vat. Why do I need the mold? There we go. Uh, I have an ore. Does that count? Wow, apparently this game is killing my computer. And apparently it's called Twistlands Insomniac, which is still hilarious. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, hello. This is Deda. Dida. Deda, Dida. 
Like a fire is beautiful, however, I have no desire to go for a swim. Whoops, there we go, another page. Uh, too hot to take with my bare hands. God of courage! No. Looks like a wrestler or something. Uh, I will talk to Dida. Assemble one figure out of the seven parts. Click and drag a part to move it and click on it to rotate it. Oh, no. This is a nice one. Looks like a tangram. Sure does. Oh, okay. Never mind. I wasn't even done, but apparently that was correct. Alrighty. Yes. That was a nice one. Thank you. Yes, it is a rabbit. And you just gave me another one. Oh no. Really? No. Oh, okay. Hopefully they only disappear into the... C yeah, when they're correct. Okay. Good. I'm hoping... Oh jeez, I thought it had crashed there. No, stop. For a minute. But no. Okay, what is this? Is this like a chicken? Oh, it's a rooster. Cool. Are you gonna give me another one? <laughs> I don't like. Okay, one thing I do like about this is that yes, it locks into pieces when you are correct. That I do like. Thank you. See? Oh, this is awesome. Oh, yes. Lock in when I'm correct. Yes, it is so helpful. Woohoo! I can actually do tangrams like this. That's a cat. Yeah. Okay, no more, please. Ah, oh, you are kidding me? Is this this never ends? Holy moly. Alright, fine. Now then, this raven or something. Come on. Last one. <laughs> eh. What? <sighs> it's like... It's so for real. It's like so serious. The tangram is so serious. Okay, yeah, it's a snake. Also, oh, thank you. Finally, something happened here. Yes, cigarette holder. Not what I wanted, but okay. Hello, could you help me? Would you help me? I'm here for a reason. When I was alive, I was one of the high priests of the god of rain. My responsibilities included performing rituals that brought rain and, in its wake, prosperity. To be honest, I was irresponsible, and once I missed a required ritual, as a result, everyone in my settlement, including me, died during a draught, draught, draft, draught. After I arrived, I realized I'd behaved inappropriately. I tried to call down rain in order to atone for my sins, but the keepers of this wasteland didn't like my prayer. They cut my ritual short and tied me to this pole as punishment. Then the keepers ordered the local people to not approach me under penalty of pain. You clearly don't live here, so their decree doesn't apply to you. Maybe, can you help me? Maybe, uh, can I help you? I shall unscrew the nut first, apparently. There we go. Ta-da! Thank you for your help. Would you do me one more favor? I want to perform the ritual again while the guards are away, but I need my ritual mask. The guards took it from me and hid it nearby. Can you find it? I have half of it. Let's see here. 
To call the train, one needs to use the station clock. As soon as I put the red ham the guard gave me on the face of the large clock, I immediately heard the train approaching. One thing concerns me, it's gloomy looking, as if it goes not to paradise but to purgatory. But this is only the speculation of a nervous earth girl, everything will be fine. The first person I met in purgatory was a woman who had an amulet that allowed her to travel between worlds when she was alive. As it turned out, the gods don't allow mortals to own this relic. He took the artifact from her and then sent her to purgatory. She asked me to restore the amulet. I can't leave her in distress, so I'm going to try. The party music is really ironic. I need the mouthpiece in order to produce sound. Moreover, I don't know how to arrange the valves. Something is wrong with the pipe. Steam should not be leaking from them. I need to fix them. I need to stop the leak first. Besides, the furnace is too hot. I need to cool it down. Why is everyone blocking my way? This guy is an especially hard nut to crack. Unfortunately, I can't slip past him, so I need to get rid of him. I have to be smart enough to retrieve the white hot ladle hanging above the lava. I met another lost soul that needs my help. The shaman is here for good reason, but he wants to change and help others. Alas, the gods haven't given him a second chance. I believe everyone deserves another shot. I must free him and then help him. Almost the same thing. We haven't read these. I th do we have any new ones though? I think we have a new one. Yeah, we do. Here we go. Two. Gods crafted this goblet. No one knows how it wound up in purgatory. Locals tried to come up with different uses for it, using it as a vessel for water and wine, keeping valuables in it, and showing it to newcomers to impress them. But only few learned its true purpose. There we go. So I think I have two nuts now. Mm, yeah, this inventory puts things at the front. It's really... Uh, confusing when <laughs> you're not used to it. I can tell you that. Alright, we're fixing the steam leak. It's a good thing, right? Ah, of course it is. Yeah. Does this go here? Uh, this. Yes, it does. We need music for her, though. Poker. Oh, we need a goblet. Wait, can I use the poker for this? No. Have a valve handle. I think it was for the furnace, right? Uh, not here. Over here. Here we go. Balance the scales by placing the appropriate weights on its bowls. so close. It feels like the reds are... What are the, um, heavy ones? Maybe not. I thought the yellows were the least heavy ones, but maybe not. so close. It is so close. It's maddening. Ha! Three yellows and three greens. Ah, now we use the poker. There we go. Bottom half of a mask. To open a furnace and take the part of the mask that's in there, I need to balance these bowls. Do I have the entire mask now? Is it assembled? No. Can I give them to him though? Excellent, that's it! Please, now please step back. I need a large amount of space in which to perform the ritual. Uh, was that you? Hmm, apparently something went wrong. I'm sorry. I hope I can still help you. Take this page. I found it nearby. Also, I'll tell you one secret. The statue on the square is full of magic. Yeah, that was him, but it wasn't rain he called down. It was something else. Here, this will extinguish any flame. Just figure out the best way to use it. 
plate with a hint. Okay. Cool. Oh, here we go. Fortune favors me. We have empty ladle. And a hidden object scene, I think. Whoa, hello. Abacus. A blackboard. Some kind of bow. We're not exactly sure what type of bow we're talking about here. I'm inclined to think it's a bow and arrow bow, but you never know. Astrolab. Which is not that one. It's like this one. Triangle. And the glove. Wings and a bat. And we have some red stuff too, I know. Uh, there's something inside of that drum. Whoa. What am I doing with this? How can I cut open the bag of flour? Um, I need to pop the kernels first. Popcorn. It's kind of weird. Um. Oh, hello. Oh, there's the bow. I just realized it's huge. Uh, triangle glove wings. So a pair of wings and a glove. And the triangle, the random. Random triangle. Um, hmm. There's the glove. Super hidden and everything. Awesome. Cool. So the triangle and the wings. Or maybe somewhere to be found, potentially. Though maybe not today. Ah, oh, that was wings! Of course it was! I would never have dreamed of clicking on that, so... That this triangle business could be something totally else, too. I thought it was a sign on the door, but it is not. Hmm. Nope. Oh dear. Alright, fine. Drumstick. Make a lever out of iron ore. Oh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, ah, Now I get it. There we go. We're strengthening the fixed handle. Awesome. All right. So this is where we're going to take a break. And we'll be back soon for more Mexicana Deadly Holiday. Thank you all so much for watching.